Another story we're following on this Thursday. The days could be numbered for Internet cafes in Jacksonville after the city council voted unanimously to shut them down, claiming they are a public nuisance. So just in the month of May alone, there has been a deadly shooting and also at least two robberies at Internet cafes here in Duval County. Eric Alvarez is on your side at City Hall as business owners, Eric, are now firing back. That's right. Now, the man behind this ordinance calling Internet cafes a public nuisance is Councilman Al Ferrero. Calls and emails to his office here at City Hall were not returned. But meanwhile, across town at one Internet cafe, not everyone is so quiet. What do you care about most? Do you care about your political career or do you really care about the people that need a job? Marta Santiago works as a cashier at Spin City Arcade on Beach Boulevard, one of close to 100 certified internet cafes that could be forced to shut down. It's my job. If I don't have a job, how am I going to maintain my family? And not just for me, but my co-workers. It comes after the city council unanimously voted in favor of a bill calling internet cafes a public nuisance. Councilman El Ferraro's bill says between January 1st, 2013 and September 26, 2018, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has reported 28,315 calls for service associated with the approximately 90 simulated gambling establishments. And since January 1st, 2018, there have been at least four shootings and multiple armed robberies which have occurred at these types of establishments. Okay, banks get robbed, gas stations get robbed. I don't see any motion to close them down because they're being robbed. Earlier this month, a man was shot and killed trying to stop a robbery at the Dream Cafe on Edgewood Avenue. First Coast News later learned police had been called to that arcade 22 times since the beginning of last year. Santiago says she hates to see things like that happen, but says closing all internet cafes goes too far. If you say you have 100 locations, there's 6 to 10 people in each location at work on a daily basis, that's a lot of people wondering how they're going to take care of their families. Now, the owner of that Internet Cafe says if she's forced to close her businesses, she's going to be just fine. Her concern is for more than 20 employees just like Santiago that will be out of a job if she has to do that. Live at City Hall, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News on your side.